Hello, my name is Michael Williams, Pro90D founder and speech coach, and today we're going to be continuing our series talking about how when you improve your speech, you actually improve your entire life. So yesterday, or in the previous video, we talked about how when you improve your speech, you can, and often do, improve your income, and I gave you some very, very specific examples of how when you improve your communication skills, your speech, you can see a positive return on investment, all right? So when you invest in your speech, when you invest in improving your speech, you can actually see a very, very positive and often very fast return on that investment. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how when you improve your speech, you also improve your mental state, your mental state, or you may hear me call it mindset. And I'm gonna show you some specific examples of that. So when we say mental state or mindset, what are we talking about? So I'm gonna describe it in three different ways, essentially. When we talk about mental state or mindset, we're talking about the kinds of thoughts that you have and the quality of those thoughts, as well as the quantity of those thoughts. What kinds of thoughts do you have? What are the, what's the quality of those thoughts? And how often do you have them? So are you thinking primarily positive, constructive thoughts, thoughts that will help you and help others? Or are you thinking mostly negative thoughts or destructive thoughts, right? How many of those thoughts are you having? Are you thinking this all day long? Or are you only thinking it a few times a day or several times a day, okay? So it's the quality and the quantity, the characteristics of the thoughts that you have. I also want to describe it in this way. Are you able to think clearly? Are you able to think, that is to see what you want to say and have it be very, very clear when you articulate it? So are you able to think clearly and then clearly and confidently articulate those thoughts? So clarity is another characteristic. Not only clarity, but creativity. Are you able to think outside the box or do you have limited thinking? No, nope, it's gotta be this way now. I, I can't really see that. Or are you willing to see various options, right? The more options you have, the freer you feel. Well, we could do it this way. Well, let's take a look at it this way. So are you able to think clearly? And are you able to think creatively? Now, here's a third way that I want to describe your mental state. Are you able to be present? That is almost empty, really without any thoughts at all. There are many, many times, especially in social situations, where you really just want to be empty and completely present so that you can just tune in to what other people are saying. You can soak it in. You're not in your own head anticipating and worrying and thinking about what they're thinking of you and you hope that they like you or thinking about, well, I hope they don't ask me a question or I'm probably going to have to speak up. Uh, what am I going to say? Right, just in our own heads, thinking all kinds of stuff. What we want to do is just be completely present and just empty our minds. And when it feels right, when the time is right, you speak up, you interject, you say something, you crack a joke, right? You kind of go with the flow, but you're in the moment. And those are the times I can tell you where I've had the most fun when I'm just empty minded, no expectations, no anticipation. I'm just empty and present. Okay, so let's just jot a few of those things down. One, we're talking about the quality, right? The quality and the quantity of those thoughts that you have. And then we talked about the clarity of those thoughts and I'll just put that up here and the creativity, your ability to be creative. And then about just being present or, or empty minded, empty minded, we'll call it that. Quality and quantity. So what are the skills? Because I don't know if you recall, but in previous videos I said I was gonna give you a skill or a principle or a skill and a principle 
that you could focus on to improve that particular area. So we're going to talk about how can you improve your mindset or your mental state. I'm going to give you one or two skills. And one has to do with personal development, continuing education. So when you and I <clears throat> watch and listen to, think about, read, right, talk about things that are constructive and things that are more positive, and what we're doing is we're filling our minds with the quality, the, the, the quality content, quality information, quality thoughts that we want to have, right? So if you're constantly watching, listening to, reading, thinking about something that's negative or destructive, then guess what kinds of thoughts you're going to have most of the time? You're going to increase the quantity of those kinds of thoughts. It can be no other way, right? Because that's what you're putting in. That's what you're soaking in. But if most of the time you're watching, you're listening to, you're reading, you're thinking about, you're talking about things that are more positive and more constructive and more helpful, then you will increase the quantity of that kind of thinking. Very, very simple, right? So I have a a library of hundreds of audiobooks that I listen to almost daily. We have a library in Pro90D of audios and videos that you can watch and listen to that will help you through this phase of your life to develop your, your speech, your communication skills, your ability to present well, to develop your confidence, and so forth and so on. So this is very important to watch what you're taking in and the quantity of that so that you can monitor and you can control your mental state, what you're thinking, and of course how you're feeling, but we'll talk about that in another session. Does that make sense? So the next thing is your ability to think clearly. So when your mind is cluttered and there's a lot of stuff going on and you're upset or you're anxious or nervous, it's very, very difficult to think clearly. I want to give you an example. Yesterday I was working with a client, um, a new client to our coaching, and one of the things that we do in Pro90D is, is, in fact, it's a foundational part of Pro90D, and that is modeling, modeling. So I said, okay, I want you to just repeat what you said, but model it, right? So most of my clients and students use me as a model, but for sure you can use other people, absolutely. I use other people as well. But most of them tend to model me just because they have my videos, they're watching the videos, they're listening to the audio. So I said, okay, model and say what you just said. So he modeled. He said, oh, wow. And I didn't expect him to say what I'm about to say now, but he said, oh, wow. Yeah, I felt that. That felt very smooth. It felt very relaxed. And he said, and you know what? I was able to think more clearly. I was like, wow, really? He said, yeah, I was able to just... My thoughts were more clearly when I was, my thoughts were more clear while I was modeling. And so there are reasons for that, but let's just talk about the fact that when you are, when you improve your speech, right, and you're speaking smoothly, what's going to happen is you're also going to be thinking more clearly. You're not going to feel anxious or as anxious, you're not going to feel nervous or as nervous. And therefore, you're going to have greater and faster access to your prefrontal cortex or to your, your thinking brain, that brain that's able to get in there, make decisions, make choices, analyze, right? Think on the spot. So you're going to be able to access that part of your brain because that access won't be restricted or interfered with by anxiousness and nervousness. You've experienced this. When you get anxious or nervous, what starts to happen to your thoughts? They start to get cloudy. You, there's stuff that you know, and you know that you know it, but when you get anxious or nervous, you can't remember it. You forget it. It just goes out the window. And now you're fumbling around. You're trying to figure out what you want to say. You've lost your thought. You lost your train of thought, all because you're anxious and nervous, distracted. But when you're not distracted, and you're not anxious or nervous, or at least not so much that it distracts you, you're able to think more clearly and you're also able to articulate those thoughts more clearly. Okay, So the next part of this though is that you're able to think a little bit more creatively, think outside the box. You don't have limited 
thinking. You say, well, I can't do it this way, but maybe I can do it this way, or maybe I can do it this way, or maybe I can say it this way, right? So you have more options. You're able to see those options. First of all, you know that those options are out there. This is your mental state, your mindset. You say, hey, I have more options. I can do this. I can handle this. So the more options you have, well, guess what? The freer you feel, and the freer you feel, the more relaxed you feel, the more confident you feel, the better you're going to perform, okay? So clarity, creativity, and then finally, your ability to just be in the moment, to just be okay with being who you are, not feeling like you have to say something, not feeling like uh, people are going to be judging you, not anticipating or worrying, just being okay with being there and being quiet maybe. Maybe not even speaking up if you don't want to. But if you do want to, you'll do it in the moment. You don't necessarily have to plan it out. You don't have to plan what you're going to say. You just go there. You know that you're going to have fun. And you be yourself. You be present. You empty your mind. And you go with the flow. And as I said, sometimes those are the best times that I've had socially is when I just go with no expectations, no preconceptions, empty my mind be totally there and present. That's when I've enjoyed myself the most and that's when other people have enjoyed me the most, okay? So let's take a look at some very specific examples, right, of people who have worked with me privately and gone through Pro90D and these are just a couple of the things that they've said. You know, I'm more articulate and positive generally in life. I'm more articulate and positive in life. This gentleman says, hey, you know, I'm still learning, but it's getting more clear than before. So his thinking, his mindset's getting more clear than it was before. Here's someone else. I just feel more confident knowing that I can articulate my thoughts very clearly. So when you know that you can say what you want, when you want, the way that you want, you feel more confident, and it actually increases and improves your ability to do just that, to articulate your thoughts. You feel more confident. We call this the confident competence cycle, right? The more confident you feel, generally speaking, the more competent you are, the better you perform. And the better you perform, the better you feel, the more confident you feel, right? So let's take a look at another one. I now go into meetings feeling more Confident. Now, I didn't tell these people to, to use the word confident. They just use it, right? So when people go through Pro90D and, and when they work with us privately, they feel more confident. And when they feel more confident, they become more competent. They're able to display, to perform better, right? To display their competence. Okay, so this is very, very important. I'm able to, I'm able to have longer conversations with less fear of getting stuck on words, okay? Less fear, longer conversations, less fear of getting stuck. And this helps me enjoy my conversations more than before. Enjoy my conversations more than before. So he's enjoying his conversations. He's having more conversations, longer conversations. In fact, I remember that gentleman told me that he's having longer, deeper conversations with his mom than he ever had. Right, as a result of doing the work in Pro 90 d And then finally, instead of holding back on what I want to say, I go for it. I share my ideas. I'm no longer afraid of my speech. How many of you have ever felt like you had something to say, uh, you knew it was going to be valuable input, but you didn't give it because you were afraid that, oh, I might get stuck if I, I can't say this. I might get stuck on that word. I might look stupid. Uh, I might not be able to get this out. Right, And so you just didn't say anything at all. So as you go through this process, when you improve your speech, you're also going to improve your mental state and your mindset, and you're going to feel or you're going to be more confident and you're going to be able to contribute more in both social and professional conversations. Does this make sense? So basically, what I want you to take away, or at least one of the things I'd like for you to take away from this particular session is that when 
you improve your speech, especially through Pro 90D, because this is a holistic program, right? It's not just about speaking techniques. It's about really your entire life. When you improve your speech, you also improve your ability to think clearly, to think creatively. You improve your ability to be confident, to be more confident, to feel confident. Now, we'll talk about confidence again and how you feel in another session, right? When we talk about your emotional state, but you feel more confident. It opens up your mind. Now you can think more clearly. Now you can say what you want to say. Okay, does this make sense? So you're able to have better quality thoughts. How do you do that? Well, let's briefly talk about a couple of things. One has to do with personal development, the content that you take in. But the other skill that you want to learn, that's very important, it's not just uh, personal development, that is the ongoing activity of watching, listening, reading, discussing things that are constructive and helpful, but also your self-talk. Okay, so self-talk is the other skill that is very, very important for you to control your mental state. Okay. This, Self-talk is essentially what you say to yourself, your inner dialogue, your inner conversation. And unless you're aware of what you're thinking and what you're saying to yourself, you'll continue to think the same thing and you'll continue to perform and feel and be the same way. So one of the, the skills that you have to learn and one of the things that you have to become more aware of is what you are saying to yourself, what you're thinking moment to moment. What am I saying to myself right now? And once you can control that inner dialogue and say what you want to say to yourself, then you can develop new habits, you can develop new skills, you can change the entire course of your life, you can change the content of your thinking because you're now aware of what you're thinking and you can control it. We call it your train of thinking. You can get off the train that's taking you in the wrong direction and get on the train that's taking you where you want to go, right? your train of thinking. You get on the train that you want to be on by controlling your inner dialogue, what you say to yourself. I'll give you one very, very specific example. When people are working on their speech for a period of time, they have to become very, very conscious of what they're thinking about and what they're doing while they're speaking. So right now, while I'm speaking, let's just say that <clears throat> this was 30 years ago, or whenever, and I wanted to improve the way that I speak, improve the way that I present. And let's say I wanted to make sure that I'm articulating, that I'm enunciating, that I'm using body language or whatever. So then, right now, while I'm speaking, I would want to be gently and periodically reminding myself, take your time, you don't have to rush. Remember to articulate, remember to use your hands, remember to use facial expressions, just gently, while I'm going through the content, right, so while I'm speaking, in the back of my mind, I have enough brain capacity, and so do you, to just remind myself, okay, take your time, you don't have to rush, right, I'm just saying that to myself. And, and so you have the ability to do that while you're speaking. You could be in a conversation and someone else could be speaking, you could very, very quickly, very, 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 very quickly, just say, okay, take your time, or remember to articulate, remember to inflect, all right. Remember to model. How would your model speak right now? How would your model feel? You can do that. And the reason we know you can do it is because you've often done it, but in a negative way. You've said things to yourself where you've had a sense, oh, I'm not going to be able to say that. Uh oh, here comes this word. I won't, be able to, I won't be able to say my name. I won't be able to say this word or th these letters or and what will happen if I get stuck. What will that person think? So you're able to think all those things in the conversation while you're speaking, which goes to show that you do have the mental capacity to self-talk, to talk to yourself in the moment because you've often done it in the negative, in a destructive way. So if you've done it in a negative way, and I can guarantee you 100%, absolutely, you have done it. I've done it, we've all done it, right? If you can do it in the negative, then you can also do it in the positive. Someone says, well, I don't have time when I'm speaking or if I'm in an important conversation, 
uh, I don't have time to be reminding myself to do these things. I'm thinking about the content. I'm thinking about what I want to say. Well, guess what? Yes, you do have time. Don't let your brain tell you, I don't have time to think about this because you do have the time. You have the capacity to think, to gently remind yourself to do certain things while you're speaking because you've already done it, just in the negative. Does this make sense? So one of the most important skills in terms of improving your mindset, improving your mental state, is the ability to control your thoughts. Not just in the moment, but in every moment, right? Day to day, moment to moment. What are you thinking about? What are you saying to yourself? What's your inner dialogue? Does this make sense? I hope so. I hope it makes sense. So this is what you want to focus on, and I've given you two skills. One skill has to do with one skill is kind of a habit, a practice of, of developing yourself, continuous education. And then the other skill is self-talk. And if so, if you want to change your mindset, you want to change your mental state, then you'll be able to do it by focusing on these two things. And when you improve your speech, you improve your mindset or your mental state. And when you improve that, you improve your entire life, your entire life. So for those of you who uh, want to take that next step, you want to take your speech to the next level, you want to improve your life, you want to improve your income, you want to improve your, your mindset, how you feel, and so forth. The fastest way is to work with us one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, for some of you, you won't be able to do that for whatever reason, or it just might not be the right time for you. Uh, you might not be able to do it financially, and so you want to go ahead and take a look at our self-study. Get started now. But for those of you who understand the value of accountability, of feedback, and of all those things, and you want to accelerate the process. I have seen this over the years. I've been doing this for over a decade now, full time. That is working with people one on one from around the world, all different kinds of people. I have found that when people work with us one on one, as long as you do the work, right? I can't make you do the work, but you're more likely to do the work when you're working with us, that they have been able to accelerate, that is to achieve much, much better results, often 10 times faster. So where they've been working on their own and it's taken them a couple of years to get to this point, they work with me or us, and within a couple of months, they're already past that point that they've gotten to by themselves over a couple of years, two or three years. So you can accelerate, that is you can shorten the time, but accelerate your progress by working with us one-on-one. -on -one. So we're gonna make sure that you have a link in or around this video, and you have a couple of options at the recording of this video we do have some very, very special discounted prices of $500 off. It's already been calculated in. You can see the prices is $500 less than what it usually is for a limited period of time. So now is the best time to go ahead and enroll. And even if you're not ready to start right now, you can lock in that pricing. Okay. So if you're ready to start right now, lock in that pricing, uh, go ahead and enroll. Some of you may want to speak with me first. And that's fine. You can set up an assessment session, but we have lots of people, actually more people. They've been watching the videos. They know it works. They're ready to go. You want to go ahead and just enroll, lock in that price. And then once you enroll, you'll get access to the course itself. But we also connect with you via Slack. So it's a tool that we use to communicate with our clients much more fluidly and fluently, right? So we'll connect with you. We'll talk about your schedule, our schedule. We'll get you set up and we'll get started taking your speech and your life to that next level. So I look forward to working with you. We've got lots of new clients, very exciting people from all around the world. And I look forward to you being one of those people and us hearing and, and being able to share your success stories about how much more you've earned, how much better you feel, and how much better your entire life is because you took the step to take your speech to the next level. Thank you so much. My name is Michael Williams. We'll see you in the next video.